Vulcan 3D printing. We're going to do 3D printing projects. We're going to try movie props and web replicas. You think of it, we'll try to do it. Uh, today I want to go over the Mark II helmet that I actually currently just finished up making uh, from the original Iron Man movie. I want to kind of go uh, start with all of the Mark's helmets and go out through as I'm kind of editing them, changing them, adding new features into them uh, because overall the helmets kind of just look different each one. But I'm trying to get to a you know really nice solid helmet by the end. So uh, time lapse for the helmet should start right about now. Well, after some bonded work and some spray painting, uh, finally got done with the helmet itself. Um, overall, I knew it wasn't going to be the best helmet in the world I could make. Uh, the first thing I wanted to try to do was learn how to do the eye ho the, the eyes that light up, having a helmet that fits me properly with a little extra room, and learn how to do the fastening for the unit. For this unit, I tried to use uh, just to have the whole thing sit together with Velcro. Um, could not recommend less. Um, learning back from it, uh, you can just kind of try to put it all in place. This is very difficult to actually be able to get in there and actually have it be all lined up properly and all sit together the correct way. But as like a piece that'll just sit on the shelf that'll just look nice, uh, Velcro will work pretty well. Uh, the eyes, what I did was actually put a bit of, made a flat uh, resin uh, base and try to carve some lines into it. The more lines I carved in there, obviously the harder it was to, uh, I put the helmet on, I got helmet hair. That's the thing. Um, as I put more lines into it, uh, that was harder to see out of the end of it. Uh, which just made it just harder to be able to walk around, harder to be able to do things. Uh, currently the viewing area is actually still pretty small, for me at least. Uh, so it kind of made it difficult to walk around. I could, when I'm trying to uh, film it, uh, I stumbled about a little bit. But overall, the, the look of the helmet is pretty good. Uh, there's a few little modifications that I would do. Uh, and next round for the Mark III, I have a lot of uh, design iterations and changes that I want to put implement onto it. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.